Good day viewers. You are welcome to my channel. You are welcome to View My Solution Center. You are welcome to a home where nothing is impossible. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad indeed. What I have to discuss with you today is very easy. In case you have just joined us for the first time, you are highly welcome. The recipe today is for every living soul on the surface of earth. Because even those dead, no one that dead leave behind. If you want to be to live long and escape the trap that the enemy has set for you, you need to do this. What I'm going to show you. When you do it, huh, you'll be at upper hand for your enemy. You know, in the Bible, biblically, Quranically, I'll be bold enough to quote both because I'm once in that in a Quranic religion before God called me here. As God called me, I never regret. Yes. What many are doing, it is during the time of all those our forefathers the time of Abraham. When dead is coming to a home, God will choose in between your livestock and your life. If your life is so precious unto him, he can kill the animals you have in replace of your life. But in the sense that you don't have anything like livestock, that can be replaced in the position of your life. You need to give an offering for an exchange of your life. I did say, send this offering to me. That offering is not meant for the pastor. It's not meant for the ministers. It's not meant for your church members. Is meant for outsider, absolute outsider, not part of your family member. Who do you want to die among your family member? I think you don't want now. So, even you know, you notice that the person behind your problem is just at the close to your eye. Please, don't give an offering of exchange of head. To that person because it can still revise and use it against you you know in africa in africa as a whole we love clothes and there's no one that will die that they will not cover the person with clothes i've never seen any child giving birth to and they put the wrap that child in a, a, a paper. It must be clothes. A newborn baby enter clothes. A departed soul enter clothes before it get enter it gets into the grave. Even though they burn their cups, they still dress the cups in white attires. Put it on top of firewood before they get it burned. So you can't tell me that they will not need to the person empty, remove clothes from the body of that person and burn it. Mm -mm. That is lie. I have been to India. I know what is going on there. I have seen the way they bury their cross. So don't just say that, that yeah, after all, my people, they don't used to enter clothes. They don't used to put clothes on them. Yes, I'm coming down to what brought me here. When you get the clothes, like my hair, you see, you get the best clothes you love. 
You see this one? You see this? Yes. You get the best clothes you love from the market. And you use this like this as an exchange of head. You said, Oh Lord, my father, if any man or woman should die, it is clothes they put on them before they bury them. I use this clothes as an exchange of my head. Any man or woman that have prepared a graveyard cloth to put on me, I send, I, as I give back this cloth, I give back that debt. That debt is not for me. It will go back to the sender. That debt prepared for me, it is not mine. It will go back to the sender. The Bible says, O oh, ye of little faith, if indeed you have no faith, Please, get anointing oil. Then anoint the clothes before you give it out. Anoint the clothes before you give it out. You understand? Anoint the clothes before you give it out. New clothes, not an old clothes from your box. Don't say mama say clothes. Then you pick drag. You know some people. It's hard them to dash out things. God deliver you from your ignorance. Bible said the hand of giver never lack. He that give it. For, for example, if you want to give somebody thing, will you put your hand under like this? And the person you want to give will put his own up. You know, it will not enter. I want to give you something. And I put my hand like this. That will you enter. No, the giver is always on top. The giver never lack. Exchange of head. Give the best. Oh, for eventually you are living. Oh, me, where I'm living. No, no poor people there. No one that I can give to. Please send it to me. I'll give it to you. No, in, 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 especially in Nigeria, in the northern parts, me, I'm from Middle Bay. There are a lot of beggars. The blind, the cripples on the street that we can give to them. Send the exchange of head to me. I'll give it to them. Me, I don't want to be replaced in your in your debt. Because God say that He will give a life an exchange for you. If your hands are clean. But remember, even when your hands are not clean, that is when the Bible verse come back again, that even the captive of the mighty shall be set free. You shall be set free today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that have destined our prepare a grave clothes to put on you, they shall wear their clothes and enter that grave they have dug. Even if it is your parent that did it, they will enter in your place. And I want to send a warning. For those that are digging grief for others, be careful. Because this year, many heads that are hacking and listening to my voice, there will, those that dig grief for them, they shall replace them in the name of Jesus Christ. Those that dig grief for them shall replace them in that grave, any grave that dig for you, I seal it up with the blood of Jesus Christ. And any tongue that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. Minus you and your family, even your children, your great grandchildren, they shall not die a, a useless death. They will die at the appointed time. At the hour that God has made for them to leave the surface of earth, no one will kill you. If anyone wants to kill you, you should prepare. If the knife is sweet on my neck, test your neck and see if it is sweet. God bless you until we meet again. Thank you for being there for me. I love you listening to me. I pray for you as I pray for myself. You will not slack and you will not fail.
in the time when God needs you. In Jesus' name.